All right, now, there's two types of shear connections. Single shear and double shear. So look at this page and go ahead and look at the, the next page in our notes. I don't know if they're right next to each other. Yes, good. All right, so single shear and double shear. All right, for single shear, the V is just equal to the force that is being applied on both sides. Let's go to the next page. Let's go to the next page. Double shear, the V is the force divided by two. All right, so let's look at let's look at that. And do you see why? Do you see why? Well, we could uh, we could do a uh, we could sum the forces equal to zero to find that V is the internal internal shear force. To find the internal shear force, I need to kind of cut this. I need to kind of break these apart. I need to kind of fail these. So imagine if we have, I need to bring out like two books. Let's say that these, these things are two books, right, on top of each other like this. Uh, a lap joint, these two books or two plates or two beams are glued together. They, all right, so they are kind of, we'll say they're glued together and so let's break this apart let's look at this bottom one this bottom plate right here i've got f acting right here when i break it apart there is the area that was glued that is the area that the shear force is acting And so I have this V right here. Do you see why V is equal to F? Because some of the forces. And so the shear stress for a lap joint would be the force or the V divided by this pink area. What is this pink area? If we gave it some sort of uh, W and then the depth into the paper, we'll call it D. Uh, w times D. All right, so anyway, a lap joint, two plates or two bolts that are glued together, and glue is on that whole surface. We can talk about welding a little bit different, but if it's, if it's completely welded, that whole surface, then that, that rectangle, that pink rectangle is the area that the shear force is acting. What if we have two plates that are not glued together? They are connected by a bolt. They are connected by a bolt. All right, well, let's, let's separate it. Let's fail. And so let's only look at the bottom plate. Let's only look at the bottom plate. Okay, it is not, it is not glued. Don't draw this. It is not glued on that whole pink surface. The only area that is keeping it together is this area right here where the bolt, the cross-sectional area of the bolt or the pin. All right, so shear force would be this P, which is equal to V, over the circular high by four diameter of the pin. Diameter of the pin. I think it's helpful to show that pin failing, show that pin shearing apart. And so before it fails, it's really this small area that the V is acting over that keeps my plates together. All right, so do you see the difference? The area that a bolted, I mean, that a lap joint is the shear area that a lap joint is acting over is that rectangle right there the shear area that something that is pinned together it's only that small uh, cross-sectional area of the pin similarly to a double lap joint a double lap joint we could we could just draw the top plate 
top plate. Uh, we've got F by two. The area is underneath here would be this rectangle on the bottom. Okay, we could draw the bottom plate. F by two, the shear area is that rectangle on the top. Or we could draw the middle. Let's draw the middle. We've got F right here. The area is both on the top and the bottom of the middle plate. No matter whether you look at the top plate, the middle plate, or the bottom plate, you would get the same tau. You would get the same tau. Uh, you would get F by two times uh, one of those areas, let's call it WD, or F two WD. So uh, I would get that, this if I was looking at the middle plate. I would get this if I was looking at the top or bottom. Do y'all see that mathematically those two are the same thing? So let's, uh, this is how I do. I, I would just kind of always look at this one. I'd say that my internal shear is F over two, and the area that it's acting is that uh, cross sectional area. And we can do the exact same thing for pins. For pins, let's, let's let me try to draw this. This is the middle plate. But the pin has sheared off the top and the bottom. So I've got F right here. I've got V and V right here. So no matter whether I look at the middle one, I can look at the top one or the bottom one, I would get that the tau I would get that the tau is F by two over pi by four diameter squared or F over two pi by four diameter squared. Same thing. Uh, we're going to, I'm just going to look at look at it that way. Just think about one area, one cross-sectional area of the bolt.